must be. Oh, oh, Centurion. Come on, at least make my day. Centurion. Oh, what the? F oh my god, what? Guys, I have a problem here. I am addicted to summoning. So we have more shards here. And uh, you guys know how this goes. I say I'm going to do one thing. I end up doing 10 more things. Let's start off by pulling this remnant shard. And of course, we get our mythical Nazana. Now, I have a bunch of other accounts from uh, other people who, you know, want to see if there's any CC magic to it. Let's start off with a two pop here. And we can hope for a legendary. And even if we don't get a legendary, you know, the positive thing to all of this is that we're still putting us in a better position towards the mercy. We're, we're getting a little bit deeper into mercy. We're penetrating the barrier that prevents us from getting a legendary champion. So we're a ways away from doing so. But look at that. It's a 10x for Rizkan. Karma. All right, here's the last 10 pop on this account. We get a gal cut, which is pretty much an epic food. And we get nothing here except a 20, uh, 20x chance for Delaja. Let's go ahead and jump into this account here. We got a oneer. We got some five void shards. And we get Malform. Oh, no, uh, I thought that was Burgoth. Um, Confit Smasher. Oof. Okay, hold on. Let me just go make some space real quick for this person bang this out one second i'd use gems but and there we go and i'll hit this come on give us a lego we get siege hulk who again you guys know my opinion on siege hey kaiden i wonder if he still does content and here we go. We're going to see if we can get any Void Legendary Champions. We get a Fellhound, which, by the way, I think I'm going to do a guide on, on Fellhound on, on how to make him uh, a six-second nuke or a six-second uh, six campaign farmer because he's a really good one. But there are certain thresholds you need to meet in order for him to just do his A1 because if you don't build him strong enough, he's not going to register as a... He's not going to register that his enemies in the in the waves are one shotable. So definitely expect that. All right, we got just this here. Nope. We're getting these points though. We're getting these points. And let's see, marquee. No marquee. We don't want you around here. And Zephyr. Oh, skirmisher. Never mind. Uh, reskin of Zephyr sniper. Sniper. Of course, odds are against us, especially with such limited amounts of shards. But don't worry, we got more over here. Let's do a. Uh, actually, we're gonna do our. We're gonna do eight here, then we'll do a two. We're gonna build ourselves up. We're gonna pull this primal last. Do I think we're gonna get anything significant? Probably not, but we'll see. Let's do. Oh god, this one too. All right. All right. Let's see here. Who are we gonna? Or can we just transfer people over? God, this is full too. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. And I think we're still gonna have to feed some champions. Let's go ahead and feed. Um... Let's go feed into Taragi here. This is not a good idea. Do not do this. Do not use rares uh, to level up. It's not good, but for the sake of trying to hurry up and make space, we're gonna do this. All right, so here we go, eight. That should be more than enough room. Ogryn Jailer, nope. Nothing, we don't wanna see blue. We only wanna see yellow lightning. Come on, work in my favor. Still no Legos? Guys, don't worry. I'm not ending this until we get a Legendary Champion. Trust me. We're getting something. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, trust. And Vogoth. Is, Vo is Vogoth still a good champion? Do you guys still use Vogoth? I think I haven't used him in a long time. His passive, where he heals, 
Was it this one? His passive where he heals uh, your entire team was uh, really good, especially in Arena. But I don't think I've seen too many people use him in Arena in a long time. So I'm just curious if there's anybody out there who's still using Bogoth. Fusion Champion, Mark. And of course, one more. God, I, I, I was really feeling... I was really feeling something there, but maybe we're gonna get something with these two void um, chances, or not the uh, chances, two void shards. Of course, it's not a, it's not a 2X, but you know, that's the thing when I'm pulling shards, right? I'm like, I'm pulling shards and I'm like, you know, it's not a 2X, it's not really the best move to make, but at the same time, I'm always pulling shards and I'm like, you know what? Crazier things have happened. Crazier things have happened, and you never know, even if it's not a 2x. And there you go. Uh, we could plus four a Magnar, maybe. Come on, Mythical. Give us a Crixia. Dude, imagine. Now, we're not going to stop there. We're not going to stop there, guys. You know why? Because we're still going to pull... Sh Is it this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Now, on my account, we still have... Um, a decent amount of shards to pull. I could go for another Podrig. I want to see who I need. There's only... Okay, so I have all these three guys. Literally only Centurion is the... Centurion is the only champion that I do not have. Now, I think what I'm going to do here is... Well, first, I'll make sure I'm in English too. Yeah. What I'm going to do here is just pull Void Shards. I'm going to pull Void Shards in the hopes that I can get Centurion. Uh... Hopefully I get Centurion and hopefully I get a legendary, but if I don't get a legendary champion pulling these void shards You guys already know we're gonna dip into our ancient shards. Let's start off by pulling seven Got an addiction guys can't stop can't stop won't stop somebody save me actually nobody saved me. I like where I'm at And just in case if you're wondering am I actually addicted you tell me. You look, you look at the shards that I have, and you tell me if I'm addicted. Those are free to play, by the way. I did not. I haven't bought any shards since the Nergigante Archer event. Since the Nergigante Archer event. So you tell me if I'm addicted. I might be addicted to just stacking shards. But yeah, the real reason as to why I haven't, you know, why I have these many shards, is um, I just haven't had a reason to to pull shards. There's been no uh, incentive for me to really pull my shards. I figured it's a decent amount of, uh, it's a decent time to pull shards, especially during the Path of Serpent event. For me, I'm heavy into avatars, so uh, I like collecting avatars. It's a thing for me, so of course I'm going to get this. I also wanted to make a little bit of progress towards the five stars, because on this account, I don't have, actually on any of the accounts, I don't have a five star Mithrala uh, blessing. So Mithral is sitting at probably no stars. I know on my alt account she has two, but here she doesn't even have one. And I can find value in making sure that she has, um, what do you call it? That she has a, a five-star blessing. Because that could help us in Centranos. That could, come on, Centurion. Centurion. That could help us all around, but I don't really need her for any of the other content that I'm already running. But it just be, oh, oh, oh. Oh, fuck. All right, guys. Centurion. Come on, at least make my day. Centur- Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! What? No way! Holy shit! And we got Centurion! <laughs> Yo! What are the chances? Yo! <laughs> guys. 
That's what I'm saying. Crazier things have happened. We got... Hold up. Hold... Hold up. We got Yincensa. Yincensa and the Grail Bearer. Her A1 is an AoE. I, I actually have not looked at this champion. This is one of the newer champions, right? Looking sick. Looking like a Grand Oak Padrig's, you know, uh, relative. Actually, Sylvan Watchers, of course, they're going to be relatives. Um, oh, my God. Okay, so AoE on the A1 with a 70% chance of placing decreased attack. The ally with the highest crit damage also joins to attack. Can we just stop and realize the... Oh my god, like back-to-back -back legendaries? Yeah, we got Riho, Faction Wars, but then like the next pull, we pull this champion? Holy crap, the ally with the highest crit damage also joins to attack the enemy with the lowest HP. The ally joining the attack will use their default skill. So here's what I'm thinking, right? We go into a Hydra battle with both Yinsensa and Mikage, because Mikage has that passive, and then we throw in Grando Padrig and we just have like a crazy nuke. I, I don't know. There's there's just so many different comps I'm thinking of right now. Places a poison cloud buff. So what the Hydra does to us, we can do to them. Increase speed and two continuous heal buffs on a target ally. Okay, so it's not AoE. That would be too OP. But we do get one. Also fills the target's turn meter by 50%. That's huge. AoE, 100% chance of placing decreased defense and a weakened and will ignore block debuffs buff. That's insane. This is on a three turn cooldown. She's bringing decreased attack. She's bringing weaken and decrease defense and ignores the block buffs. This is gonna place through the block buffs, block debuffs that the mischief just took from us and spread to his team. But wait, there's more. Increases this champion's accuracy by 10 for each buff. Increase this champion's accuracy for each buff on each enemy. Whenever an enemy receives a buff, their turn meter is decreased by 10%. Because I, it, because this did not register in my head, I'm going to read it again for myself. This champion's accuracy increases by 10 for each buff, each buff on the enemy. So for every buff that the Hydra has, I get an extra 10 accuracy. Whenever an enemy receives a buff, their turn meter is decreased by 10. That's interesting. This also uh, would go well in, like, as a counter to somebody like Siffy, actually, I think. Increased by 70 points in all battles. Yo. Almost five in Hydra. Great for Arena. Of course, Faction Wars. I'm so happy about this. I'm really happy about this. Oh my gosh, looks like my addiction is, is um, you know, they're feeding into my addiction. Polarium's like, oh, he's, he's trying to feed that addiction? Well, let's go ahead and feed it. And then, guys, holy moly. Let's just, let's just bang this out right now. Hold up. Let's just bang out this. Let's bang this out. Look at this. There he is, Centurion, boom. This guy, we'll just throw him in there. I don't care if he's at 50. You, you, and Fuse. Boom. Got that damn Sun Curse out of here. We're, at, we're gonna rank him. I'm not gonna Fuse Makage yet, I'm gonna wait. But I am going to um, get everybody set up. Just Yo. Check me out with it. Oh, and I have to rank them all the way up. Hold on. Look at that. One, two, three. Four. Makage is ready to fuse. Guys, this is crazy because now I'm set up on my alt account and on my main account um, to fuse Makage, which is going to be huge, guys. It's going to be huge. Um, should we keep pulling? Should, should I, I feel like we should keep pulling.
Ah, oh, we'll pull two more. We'll pull two more. We're gonna we're gonna pull two more. War maiden. Oh, serpent coins. Is this another reason to keep pulling? Hold up. Crazier things have happened. All right, so we're going to have to to get the avatar. We need to get these. So we're gonna go down this path, grab that, take that, and we're gonna do this. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, it looks like we need more. So it looks like we we're gonna have to keep pulling. Uh, which is a, it's a good excuse for me. It's a good excuse to keep pulling. And let's go ahead and just pull some more ancient shards since I've got a hot amount. We're just gonna keep pulling until I get get um ingot. Until I get the points that I need in order to get the avatar. No last bender. Uh, no last airbender though. Look at Syrian. Oh, well, look at this. Purple. Purple for days here. Okay. Muck Stalker, Blood Mask, Greybeard, Blood, Blood Braid. That's a lot of Delages. 540. And we're going to take this, take that. And we're going to have to enter around here, so we've got to keep pulling. Let's summon some more. Apothecary. I still, you know, give him a good shout out. Gory. I actually fed Gory a long time ago, and I was trying to do Faction Wars, trying to do Faction Wars 21, and uh, I wish I hadn't fed Gory back then, because when I was really struggling for champions, Gory would have been nice. Let's keep pulling, guys. Alright, Royal Guard. Hey, we're gonna plus we're gonna plus up that Royal Guard, guys. We're gonna give Royal Guard some sauce, some Wuji. Alright. And Chani. Discard the Sigiled. Alright, Flesh Eater. Let's do let me see if I can. Actually, let's go ahead and and um before I forget, because I'm going to forget, Royal Guard is a high elf. Empower by rarity. Actually, I can just do this, right? Royal Guard. There you go. Royal Guard number one can get the unlock, the empowerment. Alright, so he's now plus one. He got that boost. Let's check our progression here. Okay, so we can get this. We open up this. And we can also get this, take that with us. But also, you know, I don't think I... Someone just rang the doorbell. It's probably our order. Yeah, I don't like stopping at 510. I'm going to go ahead and stop at 500 right here. And at the very least, we're closer to Mercy. Boom. 